what is going on with y'all big headed fools man it is your boy fly guy only man back at the camp with another video man hey man say man yeah man we is down here in chicago illinois for the first inaugural nascar chicago street force race man you already know man i gotta get y'all some dead going footage of this bad boy man this right here is something incredible as y'all can see man right now they got qualifying going on and we just down here soaking up the atmosphere real quick, man. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on out here in these days on Chicago streets, man. Let's get money, man. They go Kevin Harvick. Ross. Oh no, Chase Elliott just spun out. Chase, why did you do that, Chase? Aw, Chase, why did you spin out, Chase? Aw, oh. oh, you hit the wall, Chase. Oh, you're a naughty boy. Very naughty. Chase Elliott went straight right into the outside barrier. Nope. <laughs> oh, y'all know I gotta give y'all help. Look at the crowd for this race. This is a NASCAR race. We got a big crowd out here. This is looking real good. The city really came out today. Like that, but 
nonetheless, though, I'm having a fun time and enjoying myself. Let's check in again with Man of Respect. You know what I'm saying? We out here chilling and stuff like that. Ready to go back green, man. Let's get money, man. This bad boy is crazy, dog. Hunter Nemechek. He is right now in position number two. You've got Austin Hill in the 21. The 19 of Connor Mosack. They're all making their way down the front straightaway as we're back underway. Side by side with him. Leaders away, but side by side, second, third, and fourth on back. Did it come down the down the straightaway and into the left hand turn number one? It's Custer with the lead. John Hunter check will squeeze. Just about that one. So y'all, uh, back to it. Uh, we just walked back into the car and stuff like that. Uh, it, it is muggy out here, super muggy out here. We're still, you know, downtown and stuff like that or whatever. Still can see all the buildings and all that good old stuff. But um, yeah, the uh, Xfinity race got postponed. Um, basically, basically, uh, man, I'm trying, I'm trying to get my thoughts together because it's so hot. Basically, um. It started raining a little bit, a little drizzle or whatnot. And you know, it got rain tires or whatever the case may be. But then they said that um it was uh lightning within the area, uh within the area, so within 10 miles or whatever. So that right there put a, a 30 minute post moment on, on the race real quick. Then I'm guessing within that 30 minutes, they seen more lightning strikes. So that put another 30 minute post moment. Then once the third post moment came around, that's where they postponed it until tomorrow. Um, once again, Mother Nature playing a, a factor at a NASCAR race. It's like it, it's always something when it comes to Mother Nature. You feel me? But um, I will say this though. I will say this though. Um, we've been pretty much down here for 12 hours. It is now eight o'clock at night. Um, we've been down here since 10. We, we've seen practice, qualifying uh, for the Cup guys. We've seen practice, qualifying half of the race for the Xfinity and stuff like that. Um, so far. The atmosphere has been electric. Um, so many people, so many people, the first time them ever coming out to a NASCAR race, bro. It, it's incredible, bro. Like, I'm really happy the presentation that NASCAR has put on and truly brought the city out. Like, one gripe that I do have, and I'm kind of talking off topic, but one gripe that I do have, everybody had to pay at least general admission to get into the race. Even kids. Uh, my son's 11 years old, all right? At any other race, he would have been free, right? And that's the idea that I went in into this race. Like, all right, I got to pay for myself, but kids are free. Uh, no, I, I had to pay full price for him too as well. I paid $280 for me, and I had to pay $280 for him, all right? So that right there, I really don't blame NASCAR on that. That's more the city of Chicago. I know how the city is. The city is, I love my city, man, but the city is a crook, man. Like it's a crook and i spoke about it earlier during my vlog too as well but um yeah um paying for kids because honestly i'm not gonna lie to y'all even though it was a lot of people down there usually at a nascar race you see a lot of kids like a lot of kids because kids get in free so kids you know if, you know the dad or the mother you know they bring their kids and the kids bring their friends and so on and so forth you know kids get in free i, I really haven't seen a lot of kids out here i mean there's kids out here but not traditional like a nascar race so that's one gripe that i really got uh another gripe that i got to as well um general mission and this is a little wristband that you get to as well uh for general mission uh this is my first nascar race of the season so i don't know if they're doing this at all tracks but uh it does say you know chicago street course right there and stuff like that cool little souvenir i'm definitely gonna say it. um th this right here is for alcohol. you know but anyway um cool little souvenir or whatever but uh general mission though um all that gives you access to is to be in inside of the, the track facility in, inside of the track it doesn't give you no seats you, you you can't go down pit road you can't do nothing all you do is you could be within the grounds of where the track is at and if you want to seat and so on and so forth you gotta pay more general mission is already 290 dollars all right like that's unheard of that's unseen like 
that price right there, you would think that we was going to Daytona or something like that. You feel me? So the, the price, I, I knew going into it because this price has been like this for the longest. I knew going into it, it was going to be that. But I thought at that price, you would have got so much more. Like you would have got access to down there everything. I mean, I understand you get a concert, blah, 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 and stuff like that. But they're not even doing the concert because it, it, everything is raining out. So they're not even doing a concert. So that's scratched off. From what I'm hearing is tomorrow's race, whoever comes to tomorrow's race, the cup race, they get in for free. So if that's true, then I'm finna invite everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? I need to get my money's worth. Cause between me and him, I spent $600 on this day going race right here. I love it. The atmosphere was incredible. It's so many people like, bro, it's been a very long time since I seen this many people at a cup race like a very long time dog like it, it's been years i'm talking about man mid 2000s since i seen you know 2010 since i seen this many people at a cup race and like i said so many different walks of life came out here people just walking past them never been to a cup race a day before in their life and they came out spent the money to witness this race like it's it's just incredible dog like this is what I've been talking about in my live streams and stuff that if NASCAR wants to appeal to a larger a larger audience in, in, in a bigger market, they have to do stuff like this. Now, the, the ticket prices and stuff like that, that's another story right there. But even though with the expensive ticket prices and stuff like that, people still came out in droves. Like I have not in a very long time seen so many people come out. I just wish Mother Nature, because right now it's not even raining outside. It was it was drizzling. We never heard no thunder, but I mean, within 10 miles, I get it. I just wish Mother Nature wouldn't have did this to us because everything was just going so good. Like I seen so many people just so happy and excited and just snapping it up. Like it was just an incredible environment, bro. Like the atmosphere was just electric, bro. But I just wish Mother Nature didn't do this. And tomorrow, they talk about the possibly a rain too as well tomorrow. So I don't know how that's going to play out. I, I hope this don't get postponed all the way until Monday. I understand it's the fourth weekend and stuff like that. A lot of people is not working, so on and so forth. But still, though, you know, people got plans. People got other stuff to do. They expect the race to be Saturday and Sunday. And for as many people came out for the Xfinity race, I can just imagine what tomorrow race is going to look like. So that's pretty much uh, uh, day one. Um, we got day two tomorrow and stuff like that. So we definitely going to be uh, blogging up. I'm going to make this into this one big blog and stuff like that or whatever. But uh, this is day one. Um, the Xfinity race so far, they, I think they had a little what, lap, lap 24 or something like that. Um, really no passing. I kind of figured that it wasn't going to be no passing. Um, pretty much a single file race. And I, I kind of figured it. I pretty figured that it was going to you know, be all that. I kind of figured that. But the people are here, though. The, the people are here and the people are willing to spend money and, and see a race and i really hope tomorrow goes off without a hitch because this right here is is really you know saying putting the spotlight onto nascar i mean from the little aerial shots and and, and tv uh, screens that i've seen of, of the race coverage and stuff like that at xfinity like just showing the cars going down columbus and showing the backdrop of, of the city skyline and stuff like that like bro that was just so awesome bro like cup cars street racing bro downtown chicago like just incredible man I, I just can't wait until how tomorrow race is gonna be but gotta wake up bright and early uh tomorrow get down here and stuff i was gonna go out tonight but i don't know if i'm gonna do all that because i am i am beat bro we've been out here since like i said 10 o'clock man like 10 hours just out here bro so we got tomorrow and stuff like that to deal with uh I'm gonna, you know, saying come back tomorrow and stuff like that for part two, uh, day two of the Chicago Street Course experience. Uh, like I said, so far so good. I I'm loving it. I just wish Mother Nature would have cooperated a little bit, but nonetheless, though, I I'm having fun. I'm having fun. So, um, pick up from um, where we left off for tomorrow and stuff like that, and um, let's get money. Y'all know we rocking bullet cooling and schooling. Okay. Well, here we go. Sunday race day, double hitter. Xfinity and daggone the cup race and well um it's eight o'clock in the morning it's like a little glander outside and um see what we got going on with uh today's forecast shall we uh yeah 
Um, there's a lot of rain in the forecast today. A lot of rain. But we got to realize something, though. Even though there's a lot of rain, they will still put on a show in the rain. I still got to get used to that. NASCAR racing in the rain. I, I, I still got to get used to that. That, that still is mind-blowing. Um, I did just hear thunder and lightning. Um, y'all know me, man. I live on the south side of Chicago and stuff like that, man. So, well, southeast side, I should say. So, um, I'm within a, you know, 15-mile radius. Um, closer than that, actually, up of where downtown is. So, if it's thundering over here, if I hear thunder over here, then, you know, there's obviously thunder within the area and stuff like that. So, you know, right now... You know, with two more hours until um, the restart, because it's eight o'clock and they say they're going to start back up at 10 o'clock. Um, if it's thundering right here where I'm at, then it's going to be thundering down there, too, as well. Um, so basically, uh, my plan is so far is to kind of like wait it out real quick, um, not be in too much of a rush uh, to go down there and stuff like that, um, you know, with it raining and stuff. Um, me personally, I don't care about being out there in the rain and stuff. You know, I'm a grown man, whatever. But, you know, my son and stuff like that, I'm going to kind of wait it out, see what's, you know, going on and stuff like that. Um, might, I might, might miss the uh, Xfinity race. But um, I don't know if y'all heard that, but, you know, they go thunder right there. But uh, definitely got to make uh, the cup race, though. Definitely got to make the cup race, though. So, um uh, I'm gonna try to hold it out, see what's going on and stuff like that. But I'm up, I'm ready, I'm ready for action. Um, definitely, uh, shout out to uh, everybody that uh, I seen yesterday and stuff like that, man. Um, I forgot to say that in my other part. Uh, shout out to Raja, you know, what I'm saying, got to be my brother finally. Uh, shout out to uh, Eric East up, you know, what I'm saying, got to meet him too as well. Shout out to uh, Rusty, my boy, you know, what I'm saying, got to meet him too as well, the second time and stuff. So that was definitely fun too as well. But um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how we gonna uh, how we gonna play this off. I really don't really don't know, man. I'm just sitting here, just watching uh, some dig on F1s. I don't know where they at. F1s Silverstone. I think they had Silverstone. So I'm watching that right now and stuff like that. Uh, I'm finna eat me some food and stuff like that. You know, take me a quick little shower. Then from there, I'm finna see what I gotta do. So, man, hopefully don't do this all day, man. It's, it's a lot of rain in forecast, but hopefully they don't do this all day, man. Let's let's get this race on, man. Let's have a good show, man. You feel me? So we're gonna see, man. We're gonna see. Okay, um, uh, well, it's still raining out here. It's definitely still raining. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Look at the water. Come on, man. Bro, it's raining out here like we in Miami or something. Mother Nature, stop playing with us. It don't even rain like this up here. All right, y'all. So we is down here. It is still freaking raining out here. Downtown Chicago. Still raining out here and stuff like that. Um, it is now about 2, 2 o'clock in the afternoon and stuff like that. Uh, the race supposed to go on at... Uh, at four and then they try to make it um go on earlier than that um the xfinity race just got uh canceled um they, they didn't even make it halfway that's the crazy part about it i mean i i get it i get it i get it you know with it being a road court i mean a street course they can't postpone it they can't keep on postponing days like they they have a time frame where the city gave them x amount of days to build the racetrack have the race and dismantle the racetrack before we can go back to, you know, city public use and stuff like that. So I get it. They can't, because I see people on, uh, on Twitter and stuff saying, oh, they could have postponed it to Monday. They, they can't do that. They can't do that. I mean, it, it's a street course. You can't postpone it. This is not like a fixed track like Chicagoland or, or Michigan or something like that where we can stay there as long as we want to. We just can't do it, you know? So I, I get it, but it, it, it's crazy that, you know, that, man, 25 laps, bro. Like, that's all it was. And that man won it, man. So, shout out to Cole Cousin. He won that race or whatever. Um, but now, we're just waiting for um, the rain to uh, lighten up just a little bit. Uh, I'm really surprised that, you know, they, they haven't started racing with the rain tires. I mean, I, I think because they haven't did it is because 
you know, the unpredictableness of the track and, you know, rain and stuff like that. And the track is already hard enough. So they probably just want to wait it out, wait it out. Because it's supposed to be clearing up. It truthfully supposed to be clearing up right now. It's 2 o'clock. Around 3, it's supposed to be nice and clear. Uh, no rain and stuff like that. That should give them, like, a good hour to prep it up real quick. And just go race. They got to do, like, 100 laps, I believe. So... You know, if we start at like four or something like that, we should have plenty of time, you know, to get the race, you know what I'm saying, underway and, and, and completely finished. Um, so far, man, I mean, <sighs> Mother Nature once again, bro. It's like, <sighs> NASCAR, bro, if, if you want to ask me one sport that has the most bad luck when it comes to weather, it is a NASCAR race. Like, there's no other sport that has bad weather like a NASCAR race. Like, even other motorsports, like, uh, Indy cars or F1 cars or whatever, they don't even have that much, you know, Mother Nature involvement in their, you know, cancellation or postponement of races and stuff like that. Besides NASCAR, bro, like, this is just an ongoing thing right here. I know that we can't control Mother Nature and stuff, but it's just every year, bro, we have like five to ten delays, postponements, just it's, it's always something, bro. And the crazy thing is, it is July, bro, like. It doesn't rain that much in the summertime. Like, this is not like Florida, you know, the East Coast where it rains a lot in the summertime. This, this is not that. This is Chicago. It doesn't rain that much in the summertime. We get our rain. The majority of our rain is like that winter going into spring period. That's when we get all our rain and stuff like that. You know, like March, April, May and stuff like that. That's when we be getting all the rain and stuff. But June, July, August, September, bro, it don't rain that much, man. Like, it's literally typhoon type weather out here you got puddles and stuff like that like i'm just i'm just appalled man but it's the start of day two um oh man this great uh this race could have went on oh my god I, i'm just upset that you know the hype everything's so built up so many people came out man and now the weather is just once again showing this ugly 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 face man it's like golly I'm gonna be here. Die Hard's gonna be here, man. But people that's trying to get into, they not finna do all this, bro. You feel me? So, like I said, we're waiting right now. Uh, I'm just chilling in my car at this little parking spot, real quick. Uh, I'm probably about, I'm in the back part of the city. So, if anybody knows Chicago, this is pretty much the back part of the city. The Sears Towers over there and stuff like that. You got the freeway right there and stuff like that. I just came off the uh, off the loop. You know what I'm saying? From the crib and stuff like that. So we got about a good, you know, five blocks away and stuff like that. You know, four or five blocks away till we get down there to Michigan Avenue and stuff like that. So I'm just going to wait off here right here and um, looking at Twitter and stuff, seeing what's happening. Then um, me and my man, we're going to make it, uh, we're going to start walking down there and stuff like that. And uh, man, hopefully they can get all these laps in today, man. Hopefully they can get in, man. So stay tuned, y'all. Y'all already know we rocking the gang. Bro. The rain, the rain has stopped. Hold on, hold on. Let me. It's, it's not raining no more. It is not raining no more. Holy shit, my friend! It's not raining no more, bro. We finna go racing. We, we're literally about to go racing. We, we gotta start walking down there. We, we about to go racing. Hey, we about to go racing, man. Come on, man. Chicago, man. Let's get money out here, baby. Oh, uh, we looking good, Chicago. No more rain. No more rain. We on our way down there.
definitely out. Look at the crowds. Somebody's gonna send him to turn one. Being able to win in his first race 
in the Cup Series in the modern era. It is something that we have not seen in a very long time. Again, a driver being able to go to victory lane in his first Cup Series start in the modern era of NASCAR, and he does it in an inaugural event here in the streets of Chicago. An incredible drive for Shane Van Gisbergen, the 34-year-old from New Zealand. 80 career supercar wins. Give him a wave as he works his way through turns 8, 9, and 10. Heading back to the main You look at all these people. Good Lord. For a NASCAR race? What? Come on, man. We got to walk this way. Oh, my shoes. See, when your shoes look like this, man, you know you have fun. Look at my shoes, man. Oh, my God. Man, good turnout. Good turnout. I love it. Skyline's all red, white, and blue, baby. Oh, Marco! My blood bleeds red, white, and blue! Tell him again. Yeah! Can y'all believe that this was a NASCAR race? Yeah. I know, it's so... Can y'all believe it? A NASCAR race. Oh, is that Dale Jarrett? Hold on now. Yo! Woo! Yeah! This is Chicago, baby. We know how to have fun out here. Let's go! Look at the skyline. Oh my gosh. The skyline is just so gorgeous. Look at that. Fourth of July weekend, incredible race. You, 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 you can't be upset about this performance. Yes, the rain played a big factor, but they were still able to put on a show and Chicago came out and represented. I'm sorry, man. I might be a little biased, but don't no other city do it like Chicago. Don't no other city do it like Chicago. Incredible, man. W performance. Hold on, we might run into a driver real quick. Hold on now, let's stand right here real quick. We might run into a driver. You know what I'm saying? Watch the puddles. Oh. I can't believe that this is a, a NASCAR race. Let's just look at the, the backdrop. Come right here uh, real quick, okay? Oh, every store is down far away. Okay, okay. Look at the backdrop. This is a NASCAR race. And this is the backdrop for a NASCAR race? Incredible. Who is this? We got teams going past. Let's get public access. You parked on this side, though, right? You parked over here, right? Let's get public access. W performance on a race and W attendance. The attendance is W. Everything is W out here. I love my city, man. All the hatred, all everything you talking about the crime and stuff like that. Everything went off without a hitch. Yeah, some guys, so-called rumors, whatever, speculations, Joe want to train, but what is that, man? They did that at Talladega back in the 70s. That ain't nothing. Don't even bring it up, man. Be quiet. W performance, man. Chicago definitely showed out, man. We definitely represented how we have, <laughs> I guess you call it Midwest hospitality. You have fun? Yeah. That was incredible. What a race. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. Gotta love it.
Got some teams coming past. Got some teams coming past. Look like they should be on somebody day going football field, man, and changing tires. Good lord, that man was huge. Shit. Yeah, he was huge. Man, he need to be on the field. Hey, come play for the Chicago Bears. <laughs> Good job, good job, y'all. Good job. They love some Kyle Larson, don't they? <laughs> Ooh, my boy. Who car can that be? That's Bush's car. Yeah, that's Kyle Bush right there. There go Kyle Bush car. Good job, y'all. Definitely moving. We out here seeing everybody. It's a party. Chicago! Yeah! Chicago, baby! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell him again. Tell him again. Only Chicago could do it like this. <laughs> tell him again. Only Chicago could do this. You think I'm lying? I mean, chopping off Caden. You always think somebody lying about something. All right, y'all. It is officially Monday. Um, angle out, y'all. I, I, I was tired, bro. I was tired last night. You know, so you're trying to finish uh, the last part of uh, this uh, vlog or whatnot of going to the Chicago Street race stuff like that. Um, but I must say. Uh, I pretty much said everything that I had to say with all my lives and all this little stuff that I've been doing as well. But I must say, man, what a race. So much fun. Um, really thought at first that it wasn't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't going to come to tuition and not that, man. But it was able to still happen, able to still put on a show, a great race, uh, great performance, man. Just overall, just happy. Uh, shout out to NASCAR for giving the city of Chicago, you know what I'm saying, this opportunity not only for the inauguration of the first ever street race for the highest level of stock car racing, but also to do it in the 75 year anniversary too as well is just incredible. Uh, shout out to the city of Chicago and the people, the fans. This right here should definitely show NASCAR that Chicago is a true uh, sports town, man. Like everything from the baseball to the football to the basketball, man. We love racing too as well, man. We will come out and drove and support, bro. Once again, I know everybody's been all on the internet, Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff, man. Just the, the, the comments, the videos of all the first time viewers of a NASCAR race. It's just incredible. 
yeah, we got a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things they could fix on for next year, ticket prices, how they handle the event and stuff like that, so on and so forth. But nonetheless, though, for the first time ever, for this to be put on in such a way, man, and for it to be a success, I can't do nothing but tip my hat to just, you know, NASCAR and Chicago for com coming together and collaborating and doing an epic performance, man. You know what I'm saying? What a hell of a race, you dig? I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope everybody had fun that was able to attend it. Even if you wasn't able to attend it, I hope you had fun, you know what I'm saying, viewing it on TV, man. Um, you truly witnessed history right there being made, you know what I'm saying? First time ever for a street race. Uh, first time be racing downtown Chicago. Um, you know what I'm saying? First time ever winner. You know what I'm saying? Just so many first times, bro. Like, you, you truly witnessed history in so many different forms of fashion man i'm just so happy that i was able to be a part of that man you feel me but that's pretty much the end of my vlog uh i had fun like i said i was down there all saturday all sound uh sunday you know what i'm saying i'm gonna you know what I'm saying go crazy with it man but i appreciate y'all viewing it man nothing but peace love and blessings of positivity you already know i rock the bullet corner in school if you want to catch me live man i go live sometimes on youtube man but you want to catch me live on on a regular basis i do a lot of eye racing and stuff like that of nascar and whatnot catch me on twitch uh fly guy only 773 i mean you can just type in fly guy only 773 on just google and all my you know seeing social media stuff will pop up so definitely rock out the kid and stuff like that man but i appreciate y'all rocking out with me on this journey never more peace love and positivity and blessings you already know we rock the bully cool and schooling and this vlog is officially done it took three days to do this vlog <laughs> but nothing but peace love and blessings man i hope y'all have a safe one a blessed one i promise you man let's get money man gone